Since mankind entered the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, science and technology have developed rapidly. Only more than 300 years have passed, and human life has undergone earth-shaking changes. Nowadays, we can enter the sea and the air by rocket. Launching the probe to the distant outside of the solar system, Armstrong even set foot on the moon, a celestial body outside the Earth in 1969. Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. So with the continuous development of human science and technology, when we turn our eyes to what extent will its science and technology develop in the next 100 years? In the next 200 to 300 years, the rapid development of science and technology may make mankind a first-class civilization. The so-called first-level civilization is a level of intelligent civilization proposed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in the last century. This level system is classified based on the energy that the civilization can use and control. It is divided into three levels. They are first-level civilization, level 2 civilization, and level 3 civilization, respectively. According to the level of civilization, we are currently around 0.7 and level 3. If we want to become a first-class civilization, we must be able to fully utilize and control all the energy of the Earth. So when we reach a first-class civilization, what height will its technology be? Today, we will explore 10 predictions about the future. 1. Energy Price Control When entering the first-level civilization, every imaginable energy source may be tapped and utilized. For example, from the tides of the ocean to the collection of geocentric thermal energy, as well as the most cutting-edge controllable nuclear fusion technology, and even the construction of an energy capture network in Earth orbit to receive the energy of the sun. We will witness a fundamental change in the global energy structure. From fossil fuels turning to clean and renewable energy, humans no longer worry about energy shortages. 2. Environmental control. In order to cope with global climate change, we may develop technologies that can regulate the Earth's climate by riding the energy network built in the orbit of the Earth. The climate can be adjusted at will. By then, human beings will have the ability to control the weather, which means that extreme weather and natural disasters on the Earth will no longer happen. 3. Sea water desalination. As human beings no longer worry about energy, we will start large-scale seawater desalination with the help of nearly unlimited energy. By then, no matter where people are on the Earth, they will not be troubled by the problem of freshwater resources. Freshwater will be completely solved. 4. Artificial Intelligence With the advancement of science and technology, artificial intelligence will be more deeply integrated into our daily lives, providing us with personalized services and support. Applications such as smart assistants, smart homes, and smart medical care will become more popular. At the same time, human cities will also become fully automated, such as from traffic management to public services. All systems are controlled by AI. This will make our life more convenient and comfortable. 5. Virtual Reality When entering the first level civilization, the boundary between virtual and reality may be blurred to an unimaginable degree. Its highly realistic virtual reality will make people experience unprecedented virtual life, and it may also become our new social learning and entertainment platform. 6. Earth defense is established. All along, we have faced various threats from outer space, such as asteroids hitting solar storms and gamma ray bursts. When we enter the first level civilizations, human beings may establish a perfect defense system. By then, any events from space will not pose a threat to human beings. 7. Medical Breakthroughs After entering the first level civilization, the medical field of human beings will usher in leap forward progress. Viruses and diseases may be completely overcome. Human beings will no longer suffer from diseases, and even the combination of human and machine will greatly prolong the lifespan of human beings. She's global peace. With the disappearance of competition for resources, the conflict of interests of human beings may also end, and countries will no longer provoke wars for resources. 
By then, human beings may enter an unprecedented state of peace. Nine space immigrants. With the rapid development of aerospace, entering space is no longer exclusive to astronauts. By then, humans may have established bases on the moon and developed its mineral resources. As the nearest celestial body on the Earth, the moon will also become the base for our voyage. Springboard. Humans begin to transform Mars and establish active areas. By then, a small number of humans will stay on the moon and space travel on Mars will be as common as today's flights. 10. Interstellar Exploration When aerospace science and technology develop to a certain extent, human eyes will no longer be limited to our solar system, but to distant exoplanets. Through the controllable nuclear fusion propulsion system, humans will launch an unmanned exploration flight group to the nearest star than sporadic, paving the way for future interstellar immigration. The above are the scientists and technicians of first-class civilization. Although we have made some progress in some aspects today, there is still a long way to go to become a first-class civilization, because it involves too many uncertain factors, including scientific and technological development, social change, global cooperation, and so on. However, as long as we continue to work hard, I believe that mankind will eventually be able to achieve this great goal in the future.